Hello everyone. In this lecture today, I'm going to derive Henderson Hasselbalch equation, Henderson Hasselbalch equation, and we will also solve some problems related to Henderson Hasselbalch equation. So basically, what is Henderson Hasselbalch equation? Henderson Hasselbalch equation is an equation that relates PH, PK and the buffer action of a weak acids and its conjugate base. So basically this equation is for weak acid where we have PS is equals to PKA plus log concentration of conjugate base divided by concentration of weak acid. This is for weak acid whereas POS is equals to PKB plus log conjugate acids divided by concentration of weak base concentration of conjugate acids divided by concentration of weak base for weak base. So PKA is the dissociation constant of acid whereas PKB is the dissociation constant of base. Okay, So, I mean this equation is for weak acid whereas this is the Henderson Hasselbalch equation for weak base. Okay, So now we will discuss what is PS, what is PKA, what is PKB and so on and so forth. So, let's first take the ionization reaction. Okay, This is the ionization reaction of a weak acid HA. Let's say that we have a weak acid and this weak acid is HA. When it dissociates, what will happen? This weak acid will release its proton. So, it will give away its proton. So, this H plus is its proton. And after giving pro its protons, what will be left? A will be left with the negative charge. So, hence the not net charge is 0. So, HA will dissociate like H plus plus A minus, right? So, this, this is in the, in the uh, equilibrium state. So, this is the dissociation of weak acid. So, this is if this is an acid. Okay, so the conjugate base of this acid is this A minus. Okay, so this is the conjugate. Okay, this is the conjugate base. Okay, this is the conjugate base of this acid. Okay, this is acid. This is its conjugate base. Okay, so uh, so the dissociation constant of this reaction, Sa equals to S plus plus A minus, that is Ka. This can be written as okay the concentration of the product. So basically, the concentration of hydrogen ion plus the concentration of this A minus. Okay, so concentration of the product. So concentration of hydrogen ion and concentration of A minus hydrogen ion and A minus divided by the concentration of the reactant. So the concentration of reactant will be H A. So this is our equation. So H concentration of hydrogen ion times concentration of the A conjugate base divided by the concentration of initial acid. So, what is the dissociation constant? So, dissociation constant is the ratio of concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants. And this square bracket, okay, you might be wondering why we have put this square bracket. This denotes the concentration, okay. So, this is the dissociation constant. This is by the definition, okay, of the dissociation constant. So, now, what we can do is that we can take negative log on both sides. So here it will be negative log minus log and here also minus log. If we do that, then this equation will become like this minus log Ka minus log and hydrogen ion concentration A minus and HA. Or this equation can be written as minus log Ka, okay. So minus log Ka and minus log, just take this with only H1, minus log H1 plus Okay, minus log the what is left a minus and h a plus when it's in, in log when they are multiplied they can be written as plus you know that right this is from the log rule so plus minus log a minus and h a okay so this is this is what we get and so by the definition what you know the minus log k a this can be written as p k a okay and what is p s p s is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration guys the definition of ps is negative log okay negative log of logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration this is what this is ph so hence so minus log of hydrogen ion concentration can we can replace this with ph so basically in this equation if we call this equation number 3 so in this equation uh, minus log s plus this can be replaced with ph because negative log of s ion concentration is pH and minus log Ka this can be replaced with pKa this is by definition okay so then what will the equation become if we put these values in equation number 3 so then we will have pKa it is equals to pH minus 
okay log a minus and h a okay a minus and h a right and then so this equation can be rewritten as okay this equation minus log a minus h a like this so basically p h here we will have p h and so what can happen is that when this minus log h a this this goes to this side this minus side will become plus p h will remain here and when it goes to this side so this will become plus log okay a minus and uh, divided by this h a so basically simply this 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 equation will become like this right so this equation is the henderson hasselbach equation okay so where p s is equals to p k a plus log a uh, concentration of conjugate base divided by concentration of initial acid and this is for the weak acid okay so but at the midpoint of the titration of weak acid okay at the midpoint when the there is a titration of weak acid at the midpoint what happens is that half of the, the half the acid the concentration of the acid will be in equilibrium with concentration of its conjugate base so half will be consumed and half will remain so hence at the midpoint the concentration of the initial acid will be equal to the concentration of the conjugate base right so then we can replace then this equation in this equation we, we can replace a minus with h a so then what happens is that then p s is equals to p k a plus so when this a minus is replaced with h a so basically h a what will happen this h a h a will cancel out so basically there will not be a minus anymore and we will have one so basically it will become log one right so h a divided by h a will be one and pk will be like that so log 1 as you know that the value of log 1 is 0 so ps will become equal to pka so at the meet point of the titration when the ph of the of of a weak acid becomes equal to its uh, dissociation constant pka you know pka so that the answer to this question is at the meet point of the titration okay so this is uh, one question that can be asked in entrance examination so now that we have derived this Henderson Hasselbach equation, what we will do further is that we will solve the problem in Henderson Hasselbach equation. And the problem is this calculate the pH of a buffer solution made from 0.2 molar SC2S3O2 and 0.5 molar C2S3O2 minus that has a distribution constant of 1.8 times 10 to the power minus 5. So what we can do then okay so what has been given to us so we have been given ph so ph is what we have to find out we have not been given and we have the concentration of hc2 s3 so basically hc2 s3 o2 looks like acidic acid so c3 c2 s okay so this concentration is at 0 0.2 molar okay this is 0 0.2 molar and the concentration of c2s3o minus so basically the concentration of c2s3o2 minus this is equal to 0 0.5 molar okay and the distribution constant is 1.8 times 10 to the power minus 5 distribution constant is ka which is 1.8 times 10 to the power minus 5 okay so this has been given so guys what do we know we know the from the henderson hasselbach equation ph is equals to pka plus log okay so a minus divided by h a okay the concentration a minus divided by concentration of h a so here then look at these guys so if you look at this here in this we have hydrogen ion but here we have lost hydrogen ion so basically the ones that has lost hydrogen ion is our conjugate base so this is the concentration of a minus in this equation and this is the concentration h a okay so basically now for a minus and h a we will put these values and also for k a so what we can write we can write pH is equal to pKa is minus log Ka so minus log 1.8 times 10 to the power 
minus 5, okay, plus log, okay, so log what? So now the concentration of conjugate base 0 0.5, 0 0.5 molar divided by concentration of conjugate acid 0 0.2, so 0 0.2 molar, okay, in bracket. So pH is equal to then, so minus log 1.8 times 10 to the power of minus 5. If you put this value in the scientific calculator, so this is actually 4.7, okay, plus log, when you divide 0 0.5 molar by 0 0.2 molar, molar molar cancels out and we will get log 2.5 okay so then 4.7 plus log 2.5 the value of log 2.5 is 0 okay so the value of log 2.5 is what so it's 0 0.4 0 okay so then when you plus 0 4.7 plus 0 0.4 it becomes 5.1 so what is the ph the ph is 5.1 this is the answer to this question. So you might be asked, okay, they might ask you, so what is the hydrogen ion concentration from in this equation? Then what we need to do, what do you need to do? You just need to write in place of PS minus log H plus and 5.1 and from here you can find out the value of hydrogen ion concentration also if they ask you. But here we have only been asked PS, so the answer is 5.1. So I hope guys this video was helpful. Uh, please subscribe our channel for more content, contents like this. Thank you very much.